luck is coming my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way And who might you be? If you please, I am Dorothy. Don't know how well you can hear it, but off in the distance, you can hear the cawing of crows. It's a beautiful day to visit the creator of the Land of Oz, L. Frank Baum. His final resting place is at the base of the Great Mausoleum in the Forest Lawn Memorial Park here in Glendale, California. And his stone is rather, I guess you would say, ordinary. L. Frank Baum, 1856 to 1919. He's buried with his wife, Maud Gage Baum. She died in 1953. I guess a good place to start in talking about this man right here is his name. L. Frank Baum stands for Lyman Frank Baum. He died at the age of 62 on May 6th. 1919. You can do a quick walk around the tombstone to get a full look at it. But I'm sure you know it if you've read the children's books, but this man here is responsible for creating the Land of Oz and all the stories. The Tin Man, the Scarecrow, Dorothy, the Wicked Witch, It's all from this man's creative mind. Now just like me, I'm sure that if you're watching this video, you grew up on the stories of Wizard of Oz. Maybe you have seen The Wizard of Oz starring Judy Garland, and even Return to Oz starring Fruza Bulk as a little girl. What do you think? I think you're very beautiful. I should hope so. Just who might you be? What are you doing here? I'm Dorothy Gale. Dorothy Gale. But aside from today, I really knew nothing about the man, the guy who created it, L. Frank Baum. So in doing some research, I found something very interesting. How he came up with the name of the land, Oz. Well, it turns out According to story, according to legend, according to lore, he was telling these tales to a group of children and one day somebody overheard him and asked, what do you call this land that you're telling these kids about? And supposedly he, he surveyed the room and he saw a filing cabinet that had the letters O-Z on it. He thought for moment, probably rather quickly, and he sputtered out, muttered out the word Oz. And now we have the story, the land of Oz, the Wizard of Oz, and all these different tales. I think, if I'm correct, there's 13 different books that he wrote. Another thing we should talk about, aside from his name, is how he died. On May 5th, 1919, Baum suffered a stroke slipped into a coma and died the following day, like I said, at the age of 62. His last words, spoken to his wife during a brief period of lucidity, said, and I quote, now we can cross the shifting sands. And now they're here together forever. The cemeteries here in Los Angeles, California, are rather beautiful and there's so many different people that you can visit. I, I'm, I'm cherishing 
the opportunity to be able to just kind of walk up and visit the graves of some of the people that have either inspired me or I grew up with them in one way, shape, or form. This is one of them. I mean, imagination is a wonderful thing. And growing up with these books and visiting the land of Oz as a child, even as an adult, it's amazing. And with that, I want to say thank you, L. Frank Baum, for creating those different stories that we've all loved growing up, that inspired so many different movies and introduced us to so many different actors and actresses, imaginations and creativity. Are you ready now? Yes. Say goodbye, Toto. Yes, I'm ready now. Wherever I come, I've had luck. Just come in my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stay? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a come in my way.